From the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tisha. Hi and welcome. <laughs> Hi and welcome to another episode of Ropecast. I'm Peter Tischer. Next to me, I have my friend Roger Chelton. Hello, Peter. You're Hi. just reminding the listeners that you are German. You mean because <laughs> of the little pronunciation mistake? The yes. Welcome. Yeah, I'm, it's it's been a long day, so <laughs> that's when the little errors come through. That's it's one of the welcome. things that, that Germans very often do, isn't it? It's uh, it's not easy with the W, w. and the V. Right, right. Getting the pronunciation right. It's even in 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 war movies when when the Germans are portrayed. Usually, they say things like "We have ways <laughs> of making you talk." Yes, uh, which reminds me, I once had to write a speech for a local dignitary here in town, mm -hmm. and so the speech itself was in correct English. I wrote it, mm -hmm. and then yeah. when he, <laughs> he <laughs> I assume it would be, <laughs> he stood on a stage in a large hall. Mm -hmm. um, a gathering of people in front of him, including a group from the UK, and he read out my speech, which started, I wish to welcome you, and it <laughs> went on like this, you know, oh to God. Germany. To Germany, The yes. result was some of the people from the UK who had no knowledge of German actually didn't understand everything that he read out, even though the English was fine. So even if you have a very good command of the language, pronunciation still does play a role. It certainly matters, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is hard to understand if you mm. uh, but maybe not all. What about TH? A lot of yes, Germans yeah. are worried about THs being wrong, the yes. the and the there are actually two of them. Especially among our students who want to be teachers of English. They they, they think I really must learn how to pronounce these things correctly. Mm -hmm. You know as well as I do, there are native speakers of English who don't actually say I think, they say I think. Yeah, yeah. In New York, for example, New uh -huh. Yorkers, they have a sort of a D that they pronounce instead of uh, a TH, yeah. as it should be. I think the pronunciation things that really matter are the ones that could lead to misunderstandings or even to embarrassing situations. <laughs> for example? <laughs> Nothing against the Germans here, but we live in Germany, so <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take yeah. another example. Imagine a German going into a restaurant, say in New York, and saying... I would like crap meat. I would, I would like some crap. <laughs> <laughs> crap, which is something rubbish, basically. C R A P. Well, that's how it would be understood. Uh, that's how it would be understood. So <laughs> I want bad food. <laughs> But what you actually mean is crab. Yeah, crab meat. Uh -huh. right. You want some kind of seafood. Right, okay. Where does that come from? These, um, whether P or B at the end of a word, Germans have trouble distinguishing those. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's one of the things I think maybe people should practice a yeah. little more. Can you tell us why Germans have that? Well, because of um, the fact that this, this is neutralized at the end of words in German. Whether the, the word has a written P or a B, you don't actually hear the difference. Mm, okay, but I think very many Germans aren't even aware of that. Probably not, no. They, they think they pronounce different letters. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. Are there any other things that you would warn people about <laughs> where you can get into trouble? or? Well, not trouble. I, I, just the other way around, just to show how native speakers of English may have problems in Germany. Uh -huh. I've noticed that Americans have great difficulty making short vowels when they're speaking German. Uh -huh. we, we, we have this institution in Germany that's called the Stammtisch, Stamm being for regulars, you know, this, this is where everybody mm -hmm. meets regularly once a, me once a week, once a month. To have a beer, right? Yeah. And you try British don't need that. They go to the <laughs> pub every <Right>. day. <laughs> <laughs> try this with your American friends. Can they actually say Stamm, Stammtisch? They'll tend to say something like Stammtisch. Or, or Stamm. Yes, really it's, long it sounds yeah, yeah. like it's, there's two A's in the word. So these pronunciation things, they work in both directions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, so folks, I would suggest you practice your pronunciation. Of course, by listening to Ropecast, you can hear the correct pronunciation usually anyway <laughs> and I will now try my hand at saying something very easy which is goodbye goodbye from me too you've been listening to Ropecast brought to you by Saarland University featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial